We're excited to announce the availability of console 1.4 which now turns console into a full service mesh that's enterprise ready and supports multiple data centers. When we first introduced the concept of console connect in console 1.2, it was with the goal of really expanding console from a tool that just focuses on service discovery and service configuration to a tool that also looks at how do we segment traffic between all of our different services, some of which might be running on-prem, some of which might be in the cloud, some are containerized, some are virtual machines, there's the whole breadth of infrastructure. And so with 1.2, we introduced that original set of functionality that we called Connect, which enabled us to segment traffic and use a TLS-based approach to do zero trust networking. With 1.3, we really looked at where's the ecosystem going in terms of users' preferences of how do we actually proxy and filter this traffic, and particularly looked at Envoy proxy as something our users wanted native support for. So with console 1.3, we added native support for Envoy, as well as deeper and richer integrations with Kubernetes. So that now we can sync catalog information so services in Kubernetes are available in console, services available in console are available in Kubernetes. And what this lets us do is do service discovery between applications inside and outside of Kubernetes seamlessly with console. With 1.4, what we really looked at is what is it going to take to make that an enterprise-ready solution? And so part of that was support for multiple data centers. With console 1.2, the segmentation was limited to only a single data center, but with console 1.4, we now support native multi-data center capability so that we can manage and secure traffic that's flowing between multiple cloud data centers, public and private data centers, maybe just different regions of the same cloud, and really do that effectively and seamlessly. And so part of that was supporting multiple data centers. The other part of it was really looking at what is the limitations of console's ACL system in terms of how do we define and enforce policies around what services are allowed to do what, key values, service discovery, all of that kind of surface area of console. And in listening to our users, we heard that the existing ACL system was a little too complex, too difficult to quite get it to work at scale. And so we took this opportunity to rewrite that and have a newer, simpler ACL system so that as part of now supporting multiple data centers, there's a simpler way of managing the policy around which services are allowed to do what. So all of that is now available as console 1.4, and we're very excited to be able to share that with the community.